This is a demonstration of the plein air 12 by 12 oil that I started outside, moved into the studio, and then finished again outside. When I begin a panel, I like to tone it down with, um, knock the white down with some tones. I used some transparent oxide red here and washed it over the panel, then wiped out where the sky was before I put my main masses in. I always start with the main masses and work towards the smaller masses as I go. Here you can see I've used the brushes to begin to work details and movement into both the grasses and the cool shapes of the trees in the background. I used uh, fine pointed sable rounds for those. This is a selection of my painting knives. Very quickly I get off the brushes and start working in with these painting knives which allow me to build all kinds of interesting textures and layers with the paint. You've got to use a lot of paint and you build up in layers and I work dark to light in this case to create, create this dimension within the grasses. It's a lot of fun and at this point I'm adding shadows and still working with this movement of these grasses and these colors and using a sharp knife here I can scrape and pull and squish paint around to make almost any kind of shape I like. When I get into the highlights as I'm beginning to do now I'm also allowing paint to be very delicately danced over the top of the other wet layers so it'll sit up over the top without blending back into them as it will do if you use a brush. So the, the knives allow you to kind of plaster or, and dance over the top and you can even scrape off mistakes and redo them. So it's a really relaxed and happy way to paint. Here I'm using the very sharp edge of this very flexible knife to scrape some long stems, some highlights of stems within the main mass of uh, grass marks. And uh, this scene shows me pulling down a shadow that wasn't there before, right over the top of the now kind of sticky and setting up paint. Uh, so I drag it right over the top of that. Um, you have to be fairly decisive with your paint mixes and get them in there and get enough quantity on so you can create this kind of a image. And um, here I'm pulling up toward the finish. And you can see um, here is the finish and then we go back and forth between those two steps. You can see how important that finish is.